Hey everybody, <clears throat> um, today we're going to be making some bath salts to fill the jars uh, here at the shop and I wanted to bring you in on it and show you what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> we are using three containers of Epsom salts and I have taken this Epsom salt, this container and I, I washed it in bleach uh, and Dawn dish detergent water and dried it thoroughly and then I alcoholed it and dried that. I think two of these makes a gallon and that looks like it would hold two gallons so I'm doing three. So there goes that, and so that is 48 ounces of Epsom salt. We are using one cup or eight ounces of baking soda, and one cup or eight ounces of sea salt. And Kimberly did not get a spoon, so hang on. So we gotta spray those with alcohol. Must be sanitary. All right, and so now I'm gonna shift that and whatnot. When you know the phone would start ringing. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to add uh, one tablespoon of turmeric. And turmeric is an anti inflammatory, it's great for the complexion. And then we are also going to add one tablespoon of rosemary ground. Rosemary is very good for the skin. And uh, there's what our salts are looking like. Okay, we're going to need another tablespoon of turmeric. I hadn't done this batch size before, so I was being cautious. Turmeric is staining, so we have to be careful about how much we put in. And not to say that some, you know, your washing machine with a little bleach is not going to take care of it, but turmeric is staining. So we have to be careful of that. So now I'm going to keep stirring and then I'm going to bring you back. 
Okay, everybody. I had a couple of customers, and I had to take care of that. But I have got the rosemary and the turmeric uh, well blended in here. Just making doubly sure. Okay. Well, there was a little place that needed it. I got sidetracked a couple times with customers, which is not a bad thing. All right, let me flip the camera so I can see what you can see. Okay, so now this is a cup of lemongrass. We're adding lemongrass. And I bought this at the Healing Tree, just a few doors down from me. If you're local or driving through Fort Payne, Alabama, you've got to come see it. So there is our lemongrass. I'm going to blend that about. of it about and we're going to add a one ounce and that right there yeah it, uh, I believe that's one ounce so I'm going to check it Fill it completely up, so let's see. No, no, that's nowhere near one ounce. All right, so let's get that over. I've never used these poplets too much, so Okay, so we're going to add one ounce of lemongrass to that, and then we're going to sprinkle a little on top to keep it from sticking to the blades. Then we're going to get out our bullet, I call mine the bullet.
this here because I'm fixing to use it again in a moment and uh, whatnot with the next recipe. And so now we have our clumps in here and we're just going to blend that lemongrass mixture throughout it. And that is easier, in my opinion, on a way to blend it because you get this little ball of stuff wet and right where you pour it and you just can't get it to can't get it to do right. And by the way, we're using Essential Depot lemongrass. Essential Depot is a green life company. All of their products that they offer are purchased from a green life source. Um, they care about what they provide to you. They want the most awesomest, healthiest, bestest, most uh, organic, organic source um, product possible. They will not rest, even if it means they must take a trip and view where a product is being utilized. Uh, are put, uh, uh, I mean, uh, not utilized, but supplied from. They are very, they scrutinize, and if you're a natural soaper like me, you can't afford to go nowhere else because you want to be able to give your customer something that you can trust is going to be as healthy as possible. So, so I recommend unadulterated, untampered with, they don't go and buy, get lemongrass essential oil and then put cheaper lemon in it and dilute it down with lemon essential oil. Um, they don't um, buy it if, unless it has been produced under certain, uh, certain requirements. They're very strict. You can read about that on their website. And uh, um, you will never find an essential oil that has been... Um, adulterated. And adulterated is where, like with peppermint, there's a portion of the peppermint that can be removed from the peppermint after it's uh, distilled and sold into the food industry and, and, uh, and other cosmetic industries. And then they get the cheaper stuff and they put it in there um, to um, and then sell it. But it's adulterated. So are you going to get the health benefits? Not a, the kind of health benefits you're going to get from um, Essential Depot's Essential Oil. Uh, essential, uh, essential, hang on, i got to bring you right back. Okay. There it is. There's our organic, uh, I mean our organic, there's our uh, bath salts, lemongrass. And it's all blended. And now let's see if Kimberly can get it in the container. I think the yellow one will look pretty in this old antique one. So we'll do that. I've also alcoholed these. Okay, guys, look at that. We will sell this by the ounce right here at the Cornerstone Market. So you got to come and give this a try. Okay, now we are doing our lavender 
uh, by salts and I already have our Epsom salts in here. Here is our cup of sea salt and cup of baking soda. And we are going to blend that. And the reason that you don't put your petals in now is because, you know, the more you blend, the more it tears them apart. So I think it's good to do as much blending as you can before you add them. But I think you need to add them before you put the essential oil in because it becomes harder to blend any kind of a dry ingredients once you put the essential oil in. Okay. Now there's no skin benefit for alkanet root, but there is um, a color ability. Um, it's, it, it's a natural color. So we're going to add a half a teaspoon to start and see how that works. All right, I have had customers and I have had uh, visitors. visitors. My mom and dad came and we have had a time. What, you're ignoring me? And my husband came and uh -huh. he brought me a burger. I'm going to go with another half a teaspoon on this stuff and then I'm stopping because, because, because. There you go. And we'll do the same. We're blending like crazy and getting the color in and all blended. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and That's plum pretty right there it is. Did you see the one up front? I did. That's the lemon uh, grass one. Yeah. And so now... Something tells me you can never use that sugar again. This is not sugar. This is Epsom salt. Oh, it's Epsom salt. And oh. sea salt. Well. And um, baking soda. It almost looks like the sand on the beach. Yep, the sand of time. Now this is the fun part, and this actually, uh, this actually, the, the essential oils actually uh, harmed the inside. I bleached, I've scrubbed, it's, the lemongrass has made it yellow permanently, I don't know. Anyway, so we will do the same though. We will put some powder in there. And we are using Essential Depot's Lavender, unadulterated from organic source. It's um, un unadulterated? Yes, it has not, they have not siphoned, siphoned off the good part and sold it to, let's say, uh, a perfume industry and then and then put some cheap stuff in there with it. Well, and then just call it whole oil then. It's unadulterated. Unadulterated. That's correct. It has not been altered in any way from its time. It's, they've no peppermint has been added to make people's nose flattered. Um, this is pure peppermint. The mean, way lavender. God, the you way lavender. lavender. Excuse me. The way God made it. Mmm. Yeah. It smells like lavender. Yep. And uh, so anyway, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna take one ounce of lavender essential oil which you already had poured up yes which I already had measured up we're going to sprinkle a little bit more powder on top to help with the sticking to the tines and then we are going you're to gonna put it in your blender mm-hmm And 
so now that blends up our lavender with part of the product yeah and has it ready to blend but before I put that in I'm going to put my one cup of lavender buds in and ensure that those are well blended because once you put something damp in here it's hard to blend dry ingredients ah well, that's really oh. good advice then yes and I also forgot something what'd you forget I forgot the rosemary oh uh, we're not putting turmeric in because of the fact that we want um, we don't want this to be yellow, but we are putting two tablespoons of ground rosemary in here. And what is that for? It's very good for the skin. Oh. And it should have already been blended. Well, you can blend it now, I'm sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, see that worked real well. Yep, just goes right in. But once you put something damp in here, it's hard to blend dry ingredients and get them blended up good. So, all right. So now we're gonna put in that and scrape off the edges around here. And that is our ounce of lavender. Lavender. And now we're going to blend all that in, and we have our and the moisture uh, will cause our. My battery died, and so I had to stop and let it charge a bit. I did mix a little bit because I needed to get it mixed in. And basically what you're doing is you're definitely ma matching the clumps from where, you know, from what was in the, the blender container. You've got to get that thoroughly mixed. And so you're just constantly turning things over. And when you see one of those little essential oil clumps, you break it up. And uh, and blend it into the rest of the mix. And I just press down against the bottom of the pan. And this is a cement mixing pan, uh, what, like what you find um, at Lowe's uh, to mix cement by hand. And I think it was under $10. And it's just perfect for making large batches of sugar scrub or bath salts or anything like that. then you've got to blend what you've mashed up real good. I'm going to turn the camera so I can see that you're seeing good. From now on, I'm still finding a little bit of baking soda that needs to be blended too. Oh God, this is heaven. Okay, 
All right, we are blended. And now we'll fill our jar. I bought this jar at Walmart. I think that's a piece of sea salt that didn't get properly ground. I thought it was baking soda. That's a piece of sea salt. And I think in my lavender petals, I got just a little bit of a stem there. And so, there we go. There's another little piece of a stem. And so there we go. There is our bath salts and they're ready to go. And now I'm gonna show you where I've put them on the table. <clears throat> now, isn't that wonderful? And somebody can come in and <clears throat> I can sell that to them by the ounce and also add other ingredients to it if they should decide they want another scent added. If they want a little bit of uh, Palmarosa or tea tree added, um, we can do that. I'm going to work on getting a sign up and attach to the jars. And there you go. We're cooking with gas now. Okay, I got my signs made. And there they are. tape over the ink on that. There we go, 50 cents an ounce, and ready to roll. Lemongrass and lavender. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm here at the Cornerstone Market at 212 Galt Avenue North in Fort Payne, Alabama. And we're having soap making classes here at the market this month and different kinds of classes every month here at the market. So I want you to be sure to check out the website www.cornerstone dash that's just a little dash you don't spell that market at dot com so it's www.cornerstone dash market dot com and you can see our soap classes and we'll be posting more classes as time progresses also um, you can see our journey videos and see what it took to make this place get fixed up to be opened and then if you are a fellow soaper or you make other types of beauty products, you might enjoy my website at www.kimberlymagnutmcnutt.com. And we have all kinds of free recipes and, uh, and free videos, how-tos on there and other information. <clears throat> and if you would like to buy some soap from me, feel free to go on to www.essential-soaps, plural, 
dot com. So you can also just go to Google, type in my name, Kimberly McNutt, and by the way, all that stuff will pop up is me, pretty much, except for those mug shots. Those are not me. And or you can just go to Google and type in essential soap. You'll find my YouTube channel and most of my websites and a lot of information. All right. Thank you for watching my commercials. It helps me so much. And thank you so much for coming by Cornerstone Market if you're ever in the area. Bye, everybody.